to germinate right there. That's the physics of the Ark of the Covenant, which is a device that could make gold powder and hold radioactive materials. It's called a phase conjugate dielectric, or simply a fractal field. Fractalfield.com is kind of why we're here. Um, I think we now understand the physics of the dunce cap, and we understand the physics of a royal crown, and we know how to perfect that, actually. And that's what we're building, truly. You, you know, when you put the royal crown of Hungary on, you cannot think an unshareable thought. But now we know the physics of why. Because when you're at the center of a lightning bolt, if you focus on something that's not shareable, which is, say, not pure principle, you will generate heat. The Royal Crown of Hungary is just a fairly good example of a phase conjugate dielectric. So the rubies and the, and the shape of the gold bands, you get three perpendicular gold bands, it's a phase conjugator dielectric. And we've actually built some Royal Crowns using proper gold. And the diameter has microwave information. It's kind of a long story. Yes? Um, I think that's a beautiful. Slowly, very slowly. Um, just like I've that. had a big portion of taking the crown shot, right? And then kind of slowly for the years. It, it has the shape of a crown. And the crown shaft, what they call it, the thousand foot of lotus, and it's the, the structure that's above our head, and it looks like a lotus. It's a, a thousand or many moving structures on the outside with the petals, and then the petals get bigger and bigger to the center, and it goes up like that. Mm, and if you, and, and, and I've often thought that the crown that's put on the head is really something really physical representation of that. Well, it's a charged structure. focus device. If you take a power spectra of the EKG at the crown of the head, we got a subcomponent at 960 hertz, I believe. And, and there, there is higher frequency harmonics that climax in a cascade there. So the petals in the lotus is frequency signature related, yes. Um, just um, because we tried to put the physics all in one section of the film, there is a part of this I forgot today, which was um, in Garrett Lethe's uh, unified field that sort of the most famous unified field story today uh, called E8, which this is the geometry of. It turns out that this geometry, the E8, if you animate in 3D, you have all the subatomic particles and the gravity quanta. Um, that this E8 geometry is a stellation of, as Mohammed El Nashi, whose mathematics is behind a lot of that stuff, that E8 is an extension of the golden ratio. Very simple. The primary animating geometry is golden mean ratio, which they're calling golden mean quantum field theory, and have agreed with me that fractality causes gravity for that ratio reason. So this is just an example of a very detailed unified field physics based on golden mean ratio called E8. And uh, El Nashi, um, who's our sort of hero as a mathematician behind this, has said that um, fractalization is the origin of gravity. And he says, the fractal nature of space, this is Andre Lin with him, fractal nature of space may actually be the cause of gravity. So I'm just, I try to put this physics conversation all into one chunk of the video here for the, that uh, this is just more evidence of what we're talking about. So now when you're looking at this, and physics community realizing how important the golden mean ratio is, um, now that you've seen what you just saw about how waves are adding and multiplying their speed, to produce acceleration from compression, you now know for yourself why gravity exists. So later, when we tell you, look, the magnetic map of your garden and your city and your bed need to look like a rose, you're going to begin to understand why in very practical terms. You know, the, the magnetic map of Prague here is a rose. We showed this at the other events, but some people weren't here. And when Valerie and I were there in Prague uh, several times, but one time in particular, it was quite clear that it was easier to lucid dream there. But if you look at, first, the magnetic map, Bohemia, Prague at the center. This is the map, the original map of the way the place was laid out. It's a rose. The guy who pointed it out to us is a guy named Bohumil Vorm, who gave lectures with us in Prague about the origins of alchemy. But who designed it? Well, 
somewhere between Christian Rose and Kurtz and a rosy cross. <laughs> In the hoary mists of the past, we have self-organization. Hmm, who designed Stonehenge? Same guy. <laughs> it's just like when some when somebody asks me, well. Well, who, in, who invented phi the golden ratio? I always, always say the same lady who invented pi. That's my answer. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this, this is our rationale now for telling you that when we study fractal field theory, and later today now, the intention was to show you how we've applied this to technology. To, um, and maybe we'll go through a little bit of that now and then then the idea was to have a free-for-all, just an open discussion here. But since we're at that stage here, so what we did then was we took this fractal field idea and we applied it to growth and life force and self-organization. And I would just like to nail down or make real a, a sense of how practical, how applicable, how commercial, how uh, you know, how much you can apply this in your life. So uh, we'll just give you a few examples now. Um, tomorrow, we're going to apply what we just discussed to measuring bliss when we measure your brain waves. We're going to look for golden ratio in brain waves. And now you understand why. Do you understand why golden mean ratio in brain waves would be important? Do you see what's happening? Your brain is making this picture in the electric field around your body. You implode, and that's called bliss, ecstasy, enlightenment. Or simply, if you're selling it to bank managers, as we do, you call it peak perception. <laughs> but the principle is the same. It's charge compression. Yeah. So you know, I'm now. The, a lot of the rest of the, our time together will be sh showing you practical applications of what we just explained. But I have made very clear to you my opinion of the cause of gravity and all centripetal forces is just the way two pine cones make plasma implode. Cause of gravity, life, perception, consciousness. And we'll show you the physics of color later, but it's, let's just do this now. So here's one practical application. We know that if you take your seeds to the center of Stonehenge or the Dolman Array, you get 30 to 50% growth effect, very replicable. Here's the book, highly recommended, very scientific. If you want to make something grow, you need a Dolman circle. Now, their conclusion at the end of the book was, if your planet is dying of starvation, you're going to have to invent stone circles, because otherwise your agriculture is going to die. Good. But what they don't say is, what, well, what they do say is, go find yourself an old sacred space. <laughs> I say, wrong. I say, go learn how to make that electric field. That's what I say. And I'm here to show you how, right now, how we do it fractalfield.com, breakthrough-technologies.com. This is from that book, Dramatic Growth Effect. Here is a 300% growth effect that we produced. And I'll show you some of the examples. This is from the orgone literature. Remember, Wilhelm Reich basically did not know what a capacitor was, so he called it orgone. Steiner did not know what a capacitor was, so he called it etheric formative force. <laughs> okay. And uh, biogeometry, Ibram Karim.